Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another episode of Just Cause 4. So today's video is a follow up to my first impressions video. In that I told you guys that I essentially wanted to do a Q&A where I would answer some of the questions you guys had about the game. So obviously I only played the game for 4 hours so I don't know everything there is to know regarding Just Cause 4. So I couldn't answer most of the questions that you guys were asking simply because they were regarding features that I haven't tested out myself. But I'm still gonna go ahead and go with this because there's quite a few questions I kind of want to address in today's video. So hopefully that's gonna give you guys a better understanding of what Just Cause is going to be like. So anyway, let's just jump straight into this. So the first question was, question for the next video. We know that specific extreme weather types exist in specific biomes. But say like if you're in the grasslands, can a tornado be formed anywhere within the grasslands or it's just like a specific place? So as far as I can tell, the crazy weather forms randomly in their designated biomes. So grasslands will have the tornado, snowy peaks will have blizzards, areas of the jungle will have the crazy lightning storm, and of course, the desert is going to have a dust storm. One thing to keep in mind is that you won't have the tornado forming in desert or a lightning storm raging in the snowy mountains, but as far as I can tell, they just form randomly throughout those biomes. So I don't think they follow any specific paths or anything, maybe that is true? I'm not exactly sure. I couldn't really notice anything with my time with the game. Are the rebel drops free and don't use beacons anymore? So the short answer to that question is yes, the rebel drops are technically free and they don't use beacons anymore. So this time you need to unlock mechanics by doing missions. I believe you can have up to six of them. They are on a timer, so you are not limited by beacons, which you have to go and find in order to restock the supply drop. So yeah, they are technically free to call in whatever you want, but they are limited by timers. However, the timer isn't significant enough for you to notice it. When I was playing around and messing around with the game, essentially you can just keep on spawning vehicles and not really have to worry about the timer, because each of the mechanics has their own specific timer, which means if one of them is on a cooldown, essentially you just switch to the other one and calling something completely else. So by the time you call in all the other vehicles, I assume the first mechanic is basically going to be out of that cooldown. So essentially you can just start using that one once again. And basically that you've got this endless circle of having free rebel drops, which I think is much better to how they did it in Just Cause 3. Because I wasn't too big of a fan of the beacons in Just Cause 3. Because essentially you would run out of them pretty much instantly. And then you have to go somewhere in order to find them or just kill yourself and respawn, you know, that was always a solution. But then if you do that, then all of your vehicles would obviously despawn as a result of that. How difficult is it to choose your tether modes? Switching between the airlifters, the normal tethers and boosters and changing the settings to customize the tether. So I do have to say it's pretty simple after a couple of hours. At first, the grapple menu was very intimidating with all the options you have. There's simply so many things that you can customize. It is kind of crazy. After a while, it felt very intimidating intuitive and switching between them was very easy. I was using a controller and all you had to do is press the d-pad to change them. I assume it's gonna be even easier on a PC. So this next one is kind of a big question. Is the performance significantly better? Yes, performance felt good. Everything I did felt smooth, much smoother than Just Cause 3. So I was playing on a PC. I basically played on a gaming laptop and yes, the performance felt good. Everything I did felt smooth, much smoother than Just Cause 3. I don't know the specs of the laptop I played on, but it was basically a 1080p gaming laptop. Load times were pretty much instant. I felt like the game always stayed above 60 FPS for me. Obviously, we have to wait to see console footage of the game, but I imagine it's going to be locked to 30 FPS at 1080p, and fingers crossed it's not going to have any sort of performance dips. I imagine since it's running on the brand new Apex engine, it should be doable, but we'll have to wait and see until we obviously see any sort of console footage. Did it solve the problem of repetition of bases from Just Cause 3? From what I saw, every base felt different and unique. So I would say so, yeah. It has kind of solved that issue. Obviously, I haven't seen everything there is in the game, so it's entirely possible that some of the bases will feel the same. But from what I've seen, everything kind of felt different, looked unique, and overall, they just looked absolutely badass. Some of the bases in Just Cause 4 just look absolutely epic. 
Are there any dual wield or one handed weapons or is it just two handed weapons? So this is kind of a weird one because I haven't seen any one handed weapons in the game. The pistols seem to be missing from the current version that I played. That could obviously change because I only played the beta preview build of the game but it didn't look like there was any sort of dual wielding going on or any sort of pistols in the game which is a little bit disappointing but my hope is that we will actually see it in the final release. Question, do you know if there's any challenges for gear mods like in Just Cause 3? I hated those. I think I can agree with you there that those were kind of terrible. But the good thing is, I didn't see any of them. So it seems like they are completely gone from Just Cause 4. But anyway guys, that is gonna do it for this q and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Those are all the questions that I could really address in a video all the questions that I really had an answer to. So I hope you guys have a better idea of what the game is going to be like and I hope I addressed some of the most common questions that you guys kept asking that I obviously could answer in a video like this. But that is gonna do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like on it. Subscribe if you're new to the channel for plenty more Just Cause 4 content. If you guys wanna join my public Discord, the link to that is going to be in the description. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're gonna have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time. Take a look, bye, bye 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 bye.